What will happen when Mandela dies? That's the question in this vid. Well, we can say that the three events of Margus Fontaine was a, was a, a drawing of the line to stop the British in their expansion into uh, the Boer homelands. And Mandela, from his point of view, from the cause's point of view, was trying to stop the encroachment of white domination into his, his, his cultural sphere of influence. So he was a terrorist. The reason why he was locked up in, in uh, Ellis Island was because he, he blew up a train. He's gone on through this journey to become, uh, through a poll, the person that people would elect to become the world's president if they had the choice. Um, so much for Maury polls. But the problem is, is that what was the result of Mandela's rule? Or well, the result of Mandela's rule was Jacob Zuma and Julius Malema. Now, both of those are Zulu nationalists and Marxists. And then Mandela himself was a Marxist. He sung those anti-white songs. He sung Kill the Boer, Kill the Farmer, those same songs as Julius Malema. Yet he was smart enough to give one face to his home, own supporters and another face to the world. Julius Malema is not that smart. But Julius Malema is someone who believes in complete domination, just like the British did in the Boer War. The but Julius Malema goes even further than this. Julius Malema wants to exterminate white people in South Africa. He's quite clearly stated this. Um, he said that it's his revolutionary principle to exterminate white people in South Africa. And that doesn't just mean the Boers, but all Afrikaners and all English speakers in South Africa. This guy is a genocidal maniac, and that's why we need a WikiLeaks type organisation to resist Julius Malema. As I've said in my, my vid, uh, we are not Rwanda Julius Malema, we are South Africa. Resist with Afrikaner WikiLeaks. We need a, a intelligence-based organisation that w is, has a civilian outlook, right? Not a military outlook, but a civi civilian outlook of journalism and that can gain, can infiltrate and subvert the ANC and create a wall of non-connections, of non-economic and non-political connections around that. How do we do that? We use people who work for us to do this, and those people thus follow our orders rather than the ANC's orders. We need to recruit Western-educated black women to do this, um, Afri African women, especially um, people who have had the experience of um, Zimbabwe already, I know, uh, or s better still, uh, Bantu, pe Bantu people from South Africa who have had the experience of living under Julius Malema and Jacob Zuma. What are we to do when, Mel when Mandela dies? If there is such a pogrom after he dies, as is been spoken about by Julius Malema, on many, many occasions. What are we to do? Well, I think that we should definitely make some kind of uh, move to make bases in Mozambique and in neighbouring countries and also what was Southwest Africa in Namibia. Um, there's, there's many ways to do this and you can build up farms in those areas and also there may be the question of the need for private security. Now private security will bring their own weapons and own, um, uh, own security training. But you will need to build up some kind of Boer area in South Africa where the Boers have a majority. This is quite difficult to do. 
but in the old Boer Republic, so should be able to do it. And you should try and make sure that as the situation can get better, we will have a, at least a shock situation where the uh, Bantu in South Africa, especially the Zulu, will probably go on a rampage after the main Mandela dies to settle the scores with the Causa. Now, in that, in that, we must stay neutral and we must not get involved in the entangling uh, quagmire that is a rivalry between the Causa and the Zulu. In fact, if anything, we should fund both sides and that way we will stay a necessary um, part of South Africa. It might even help with peace negotiations after. So yes, it is a slightly Machiavellian strategy, but sometimes you have to be cruel to be kind. Um, the Eastern Cape of South Africa has been described by Ronaldo as like Afghanistan and the Western Cape like the United States. Surely we must extol the virtues of the Western Cape and try and change the economic structures and the physical structures of the Eastern Cape to develop the Eastern Cape more to be like the Western Cape. But that shock situation may well happen after Mandela dies. Um, and it, when that occasion happens, I will do a vid called Mandela Dead and what 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 next? Um, don't wish him. I don't wish him ill, but the guy is like in his nineties, so we we have to be quite getting ready to be prepared for that situation. Um, you should definitely be thinking about. If anyone, what what the Boers need is a de, is a, is a Delaray, a leader, um, and we should definitely be thinking about private security. We should definitely be thinking about bringing in Blackwater and other such things. But I can't uh, can't put forward a name to be a leader. But I suppose the most well known person on YouTube would be Ronaldo on this subject. But he is South African. I'm British. So it's a bit more easy for him to say who he believes should be the um, next leader of South Africa. So we should ask that question. And if anyone has got any proposals for who should be the next leader of South Africa, put your names, put your names down in the comments section. Thanks. Sorry this is a short vid. But I'll be doing more research on South Africa later and bringing more vids. Peace.